22-year-old Bill Neal set off four months ago to motor his jacuzzi, taps and all, 1,500 miles from London to Leningrad in aid of cancer research. The French, the Belgians, the Dutch and the Danish put it down to another bit of British eccentricity. The Germans helped out with food and the Norwegians, a very practical people, came up with a spare bath plug. But the Russians were different. No decadent Western bathtub was going to enter their territorial waters. But despite being denied a visa, Bill was determined to reach his goal. Now, safely back in Salkham, Bill has revealed that he and his five and a half foot jacuzzi did make it to Russia, right under the noses of some very watchful Soviet officials. There's only one way to get inside <coughs> Russia illegally without a visa, and that was to go onto a small coaster. And there's only one in Finland that goes through this uh, canal in Russia. And we put the bath on top and sailed in. Uh, through 40 miles behind the border and then through Russia back into Finland again. So the jacuzzi was on this coaster? Yes, on the main deck of the coaster. Yeah. In full sight? Oh yes, yeah, and we were filming it and filming the, the guard posts and the naval installations. Nobody asked what is this coaster doing with the jacuzzi on it? No, no, they didn't seem to, to worry at all. You also attempted, didn't you, to, to sail into Russian territorial waters. Uh, did you get the impression that you were being watched? Uh, well, we didn't. Get, we went up to the border, but we were being watched uh, all the time by the Finnish army because they were a bit worried about relations between Finland and Russia. They escorted us, didn't they? Yeah, they escorted us all the time. So you couldn't do anything without their knowledge. No, that's right. And I'm sure they were keeping in close contact with the Russians. Eileen, uh, you were in the safety boat, yes, that's right. and that was almost as difficult as being in the jacuzzi, wasn't it? Yes, it was very difficult because it's, it was a small boat, and uh, there were four people living in. in in such close proximity and that was the hardest part about it I think. And he went off didn't he? Uh, on his own? Yes he wanted a little bit of excitement so he disappeared for <clears throat> was it a day and a half or two, two, two days? days? He disappeared for two days and, and I was very worried you know and I made us leave the port where we were in about a four seven or something you know and I'm saying the wind's not blowing at all it's not blowing you know because I was so worried about him and when we got there we were absolutely saturated wet through and there he was dry as a bone you know he'd been drinking and he was smoking away and he was, he was quite happy you know and I was really annoyed. <laughs> Bill what happens next? Uh, I'm not sure I've got a few ideas up my sleeve but uh, Kitchen sinks? No no there'll definitely be something uh, coming again but I'm not sure yet. Maybe a motorised toilet, eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> motorised toilet. <laughs> Good luck. Hope you're not too flush with success. <laughs>